There's so much to look forward to with Windows Phone 8. Well, let's talk about the hardware. When we launch Windows Phone 8, our first devices will be available from four hardware OEMs, Nokia, Huawei, Samsung, and HTC. All of their devices will be built on next generation silicon from Qualcomm. We've been working with these partners for some time, and I'm very happy to share that I believe we will have the best device lineup we've ever had before. And these devices will be available all over the world. Windows Phone 8 is a truly global platform. Be available in 50 languages with an application marketplace that supports downloads in over 180 countries. For those of you keeping count, that is 25 more countries than Apple announced last week. And when we go into a country, we aspire to do much more than a translation. We aspire to deliver a deeply local experience to our customers there. Consider Arabic and Hebrew, where we have fully mirrored the experience right to left, unlike other platforms where there is only a translation available. And let's talk about software updates. This is an area where our entire ecosystem has been challenged. OEMs, operators, platform vendors, getting new software on devices has been a challenge. But we have been working with our partners on how we might do this. Is there a, can we find a path that really puts the consumer's interest first? And I believe we have found that with Windows Phone 8. The first step on that path, all software updates for Windows Phone 8 will be delivered over the air. There will be no more... <laughs> there will be no more searching for a USB cable to tether to your PC to update your device. Secondly, Microsoft will support every device with updates for 18 months from the launch of that device. At least 18 months. And last but not least, Microsoft will have a program that lets registered enthusiasts to get early access to updates before any broad consumer push. You put all, <laughs> you put all this together, and I believe Windows Phone 8, Windows Phone 8 devices will be more up-to-date and fresher than ever before. Now, if you take into account everything that you've heard about today, we believe Windows Phone 8 will be the most modern so smartphone platform available. Windows Phone 8 supports new multi-core chips, new graphics cores, new multimedia cores, new modem architectures, new screen resolutions, removable storage, encrypted storage, NFC, and more. Windows Phone 8 is a generation change in our platform. And because of this, Windows Phone 8 will not run on existing devices. We care very deeply for our Windows Phone 7.5 customers. And because of this, I'm happy to share today that we are creating an update for our Windows Phone 7 5 customers that brings to them what we believe is the marquee feature of Windows Phone 8, the new start experience. And this is not all that Windows Phone 7 5 customers will get. To talk about their ongoing commitment to our Windows Phone 7 5 customers, I'd like to invite up on stage Kevin Shields, Senior Vice President of Nokia. Hey, thanks, go. Terry. Hey, good morning. Uh, my name is Kevin Shields. I lead product and program management for the Nokia Lumia range at Nokia. Wow, Windows Phone 8 looks terrific. You know, our Nokia Lumia customers have been and continue to be delighted by the, by the Windows Phone experience. And I want to thank Microsoft for the opportunity to be here today to participate in the next evolution of this great experience. 
At Nokia, we are excited about the new generation of hardware that Windows Phone 8 will unlock. We believe these advancements, these advancements will further, invest, for, further fuel investment in the Windows Phone ecosystem. And it validates our decision to partner deeply with Microsoft on Windows Phone. As Terry mentioned, this morning I want to tell you how we at Nokia will not only bring the best of our innovation to Windows Phone 8, but also, thanks in part to great application compatibility, to our existing range of Nokia Lumia devices as well. Today, Nokia is announcing a number of new applications and a wave of innovation for our current Lumia customers. Somebody about there needs to advance the slide for me. Thank you. These new experiences will come to our new Nokia Lumia devices starting next week and then progressively over the ensuing weeks around the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. They start with a DLNA app we call Play 2. Uh, Play 2 makes it easy for me to stream my photos, music, and personal videos to DLNA-compatible devices, including many big screen TVs today. Nokia Counters is an app that responds to the, a big piece of feedback we've gotten from our Nokia Lumia customers that they really want an easy and intuitive way to help them track their data, voice, and messaging usage. We're releasing a new version of our highly acclaimed Nokia music, music application, the app that lets you play great streams of music uh, in really interesting mixes without any login or setup. It just plays right out of the box. And we're improving our gig finder to, to help you find live, live local performances for the artists you love most. And we're making it easier to create great mixes that you can download and play offline later. And of course, at Nokia, we continue to innovate on camera and, camera and imaging. Today, we are announcing four new camera extensions that we collectively call camera extras. They work together to effectively upgrade the core camera experience. These include a simple cell timer, an action shot extension that takes a burst of images and makes it really easy to step back in time to find the image that really captures the moment you wanted to remember. We're releasing a panorama maker that, that sort of playfully guides you through the process of capturing the perfect series of images that can be stitched together to create a beautiful panorama. And to, to, to help show you the last of our four ex extensions, I'm going to invite Joe and Kevin back here on stage to tell you about something we call Smart Group Shot. Smart Group Shot helps to solve the problem, but when you take a picture of a bunch of people, a lot of times somebody's eyes are closed or they're not smiling, and you, what you really wanted was sort of a mashup of a set of pictures. Um, so what I'm going to do here is you can see our four, our four camera extras. I'm going to start up Smart Group Shot, and I'm going to use Tweedledee and Tweedledee Dumb here uh, to show you how this works. So with Smart Group Shot, I can start taking an image. Okay, guys, happy face. Sad face, surprised face, it smells bad face. Great. OK, thanks. Sm uh, Smart Group Shot captures a series of images and then processes these images to find faces. It then analyzes the faces to pick the best expression for each person in the picture. Finally, it assembles all of those images into a blend, into a single image that captures the, the best out of everyone. We built Smart Group Shot with a company called Scalato. Scalato is the company that did the Nokia, Nokia Creative Studio. We'll get back to that in a second. Uh, they built a Nokia Creative Studio that's available for the Nokia Lumia range today. We recently announced that, that our intention to buy or to acquire the people and technology of Scalato because of their expertise in image processing. It's that expertise that lets me do something like this, where I can tap Joe's face. Pick the image that I think most represents the moment, and now I get to remember this great standing up here on, on stage with Joe and Kevin. Okay, as Joe referenced earlier, Nokia is a leader in mapping and navigation as well. And today I'm happy to announce that we're bringing updates to all three of our core transportation and navigation applications. With Nokia Maps, we're adding, we're making it even more personal by adding the ability to upload photos, to, 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 uh, to uh, submit place reviews, and even favorite synchronization. 
And Nokia Transit, we're, we're updating as well, and we're including the, a, a feature that lets you pin a location uh, to, to the start menu so that no matter where you are, you can quickly open it and find bus and train stations near you, including real-time, up-to-date timetables. And then finally, in Nokia Drive, we're, we've, we're, we're delivering a feature we call My Commute. My Commute is, uh, is a result of our team challenging the assumption that navigation is only useful when you don't know where you're going. We ask the question, how can we make everyday driving even better? And the answer starts here with this, this, this uh, live tile on the start screen. That, it has, that shows Nokia Drive telling me that if I leave for work now, how long it will take me to get there on the fastest route. When I get in my car and start Nokia Drive, it actually shows me the set of commutes that, that it's learned from my driving habits over the last few weeks. It's actually observing where I drive and noticing that sometimes I take different routes to work. So here in this case, you can see my commute in Helsinki to Nokia House. And Nokia Drive is, is suggesting that I take the fastest route, which, ha which happens in, on this particular morning to be the shortest route. And you can see the, the yellow traffic data, which is actually live data in Helsinki right now. Um, but I can see at the top of the screen there's three different routes because Nokia Drive has learned that I actually use different routes on the way to work. And it turns out that the middle route is actually a prettier route. It's a, it's a nicer drive. It goes down the, what's called the Esplanade in Helsinki. And because I've left a little bit early and I know I have, to, uh, I have time, I can actually choose to take the not fastest route and be comfortable that Nokia Drive's got my back, that I'm going to be able to make it to work in time even though I'm enjoying my commute a little bit more. So in summary, uh, my commute in Nokia Drive makes my daily commute even more enjoyable and less stressful. Okay, so wrapping up. What you've seen here are proof points of Nokia's commitment to partner with Microsoft and continuing to innovate on Windows Phone 7X and our current range of Nokia Lumia devices. I want to thank Microsoft for inviting us to be part of this, this important event in the evolution of Windows Phone. With Windows Phone 8, Microsoft is clearly, clearly accelerating the investment in the growth of the Windows Phone, phone ecosystem. Furthermore, it's great, it's great to know that with strong application compatibility, the vast majority of ecosystem innovation will accrue to our current Nokia Lumia customers. And at that point, I'd like to welcome Terry back out here to tell us more about the momentum of what's going on with the Windows Phone application marketplace. Thank you. All right, well, let's talk apps. As Kevin mentioned and Kevin Gallo mentioned, Windows Phone 7.5 applications will, continue, will run on Windows Phone 8 devices. And we will continue to invest in those applications for our Windows Phone 7.5 customers. But I'm very happy to share with you today that our marketplace has reached a milestone where there are now 100,000 applications that have been published to our marketplace. I want to personally thank every developer out there that has contributed some of their time and creativity to build an application for Windows Phone and to improve the experience for our customers. And frankly, we're really quite pleased with the pace by which marketplace applications are coming into our marketplace. This first 100,000 apps have come to Windows Phone faster than the rate they came to other smartphone platforms. Now, there's one, app, there's one application or set of applications in particular that I want to call out today that has recently committed to join us in the Windows Phone marketplace. And frankly, Nokia has been instrumental in helping to build the partnership to get these apps on our platform. And that is Zynga. Zynga will be bringing words with friends and draw something to Windows Phone users later this year. So let's recap our commitment to our current Windows 7.5 users. First, Microsoft will be releasing a seven-point update that we believe includes the marquee and user-centric feature of Windows Phone 8, and that is the new start screen to those customers. Secondly, our OEMs, 
as Kevin just showed for Nokia, will continue to innovate on their devices with great new experiences. And third, we are going to continue to invest in our application catalog for our Windows 7.5 users, leveraging the application compatibility between Windows 7.5 and Windows Phone 8. So Windows Phone 8 and Windows 8 together, we are going to bring amazing experiences on the most modern platform on amazing devices to our customers. We really look forward to working with our developer partners to embrace this new platform. Thank you for your time here today, and thank you for your support of Windows Phone.